Oh, what is going on, my builders? Krosama here, and I am about to show you. Oh, I'm going to show you some wonders, baby. Look at. Uh, mm, it just is sensual to the touch. I cannot wait to unbox this thing. I've been waiting uh, quite a long time because, you know, it's it's weird. And I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get downvoted pretty pretty heavily right now. I don't like the anime series G Fighter or M Mobile Fighters, G Gundam, whatever you want to call it. I don't like that show. I respect it because it did do something different with the Gundam franchise. It, you know, a lot of people say it, it revived it. I don't know. I didn't look at the schematics, but what it did bring was one of the best-looking melee mobile suits I've ever seen in existence this is just beautiful and i'm not just talking about the high res design i'm talking about the original god gundam design even the shining gundam i think is beautiful so with this we have got a beautiful upgrade and um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh, unbox this for you now I do want to give a shout out to newtypehq.com. Uh, they have been helping this channel since, I mean, forever ago. And I truly appreciate them. And, you know, if you really want to pick this kit up, check out their website. I'm just, just check it out. Go ahead, look around, shop around. And if you do find things that you really, really want, then use that promo code CROSAMA so that way you can get 10% off your purchase. Pop a bless. All right, on to the unboxing. Now, if there's anything I want to say is that this box, oh, 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 oh my God, is beautiful. Oh, I'm just so happy I'm finally going to have a God Gun in my collection with the actual like effect, the little ring effect. That's what I've been wanting. So um, let's just take a look at the sides. And not really too much going on here. Eh, same right here. Not really too much going on. Just the uh, front cover again. Now this kit varies in price all over because the higher in price that it goes, the more inconsistent I see it usually. Usually if you have like a low price item, like around $10, $15, it's generally going to stay around that same price. But this, I mean, you might be able to find it for this price somewhere online. You might find it for more, you might find it for less, but it's probably going to be going around $130 to $140 online. Um, I, I mean... We'll see. Whenever the review comes out, we'll see if it's going to be worth that price tag. And we take a look at the back. I mean, it's, it's looking good. <laughs> Everything about this screams, yes. It screams, give me your money because you know you want to give it to me. And you know that you want me in your collection. Uh, see, the thumb on the hand can express rich emotions. Oh, okay. So the thumb can move. That's pretty cool. The, the hands are definitely going to be fixed, but yeah, everything else, man, just God, this is oh, this whole box. I just want to hang this box up too. I know I'm probably like overhyping the shit out of this, and some people are like, "Dude, it's just a model," or "Dude, it's just G Gundam," or "Dude, it's you know, it's super expensive," or something along those lines. It's like I I hear you, but I'm also not listening. <laughs> I just want to build this thing, man. But yeah, enough with the uh, the back of the box. And it keeps getting blurry. But enough with the back of the box, guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to look at the runners. Okay, so when you open up the box, you're going to have it like this. All your runners are going to be onto the side over here. And then you're going to have the actual frame right there. And we are going to take a look at that detailed frame uh, before we start taking a look at the runners. And here is how it comes packaged. Looks really good. I mean, pretty simple. You're going to have the hands right up there, which are going to be the burning fingers. And, yeah, just looking, oh, so sensual. Now, for the frame, it is looking beautiful. Not much die cast metal, I'm seeing, or even feeling. So, the only ones I have uh, really felt is this gold right here. It feels like die cast. And then right underneath here, these little heels this is definitely die cast so i'm not really seeing much you know in terms of weight it feels extremely light uh actually a lot lighter than the straight red frame so i don't know i don't know if that's a choice that they made because they want it to be lighter or maybe they just didn't really want as much metal into it so i don't know i'm kind of looking at it and it looks really good pretty solid frame overall uh 
it doesn't feel as stiff as the uh, red frame stray which it's both a good and bad thing um you know i like it when it's a little bit <laughs> little little solid uh, because of the fact that it's going to be able to hold the poses a little bit better um, But you know if it's too hot, you know too hard and just you know rough and you kind of like oh my god I'm about to break it with every single uh, movement and it becomes a little troublesome But this is actually that, that good medium. So it's not like too rough as uh, you know like stiff and tight uh, It's definitely oh my god. That's so beautiful that's a beautiful goddamn bin. And we'll be taking more uh, more of a look at this whenever we're uh, doing the review. But yeah, uh, overall, this is looking very, very nice. And the uh, core fighter is going to go right there in the back, obviously. Uh, yeah, so it looks good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the runners. And you'll be getting nine runners in total. And this is going to be your A-plate. Uh, basically going to have a mixture of different colors. So you got your black, you got your red, clear green, as well as gray over here. I know it looks a little bit more white. Um, but in person, I'm going to say it's, it's definitely more gray in comparison to the other uh, white runners that we'll compare it to. Uh, but it's super highly gloss. I mean, if you just look at this. Oh my God. The light is just shining right off of it. Oh, it's so, it, it's so smooth. It's so smooth. God damn. Uh, but yeah, super high glossy. And I cannot wait to compare this to the um, the Stray Red Frame because I think the Stray Red Frame is like a hallmark. It was just, it was the peak performance of high resolution models. So really curious to see how this is going to uh, stand up next to that. And here we have B1 and B2, B2 being a small one. This is going to be all blue with some super high gloss. Uh, so it looks like we got a lot of different parts all over. Uh, we're gonna have the core fighter right here. And we're gonna have some skirts, you know, some back skirts, front skirts. Looks like feet, the bottom of the feet maybe. Uh, yeah, just little parts here and there. You're gonna have parts for the, uh, the gauntlet or the bracer, whatever you wanna call it uh yeah looks really solid love this blue um you know some parts i'm seeing some good lining some parts i'm seeing fairly plain smooth surfaces so i don't know man panel lining just may be out of the question for a lot of these parts but like here this is going to be fine you can definitely panel line that um, but yeah i mean this kit probably even without panel line is going to look super beautiful and here is runner c so i know i'm doing a uh a disservice by putting white on white uh, like that because you can't really see all the details and I'm gonna try and do my best I just don't feel feel like pulling out the black background uh, but you can see some of the little panel lines in there and it's still super glossy like there's no way in hell that you're gonna see any you know dullness on this kit this thing is just going to be shining bright like a diamond on your shelf my lads uh, but yeah, it looks really good. I'm seeing lots of panel lining opportunities. Um, probably go with gray on this one instead of going with uh, black. And then uh, you can definitely see the d uh, difference. You're going to have that nice gray over here, whereas a lot of the armor is just going to be white. And you can get two Runner Ds. So Runner D is going to be uh, pretty much more aligned with the, uh, the white parts. And it looks good. I mean, you're going to have parts of the little wing binders over here. Uh, you got the little ankle skirts right there. You got knee joints. So overall, this is going to be looking just as solid. Uh, you get some surface detailing right here. And it looks good. You got the beam saber right there. Cool. Really liking this. Still, once again, extremely glossy. And next is going to be runner E1 and E2. So, I mean, yeah, like, even though there's nine runners, two of these runners are going to be extremely small because they're just little sub compartments. Um, but this is going to be a lot of your, you know, inner frame ish parts. Uh, so, you're going to have some skirting right here. You get the fingers right there. And I don't know, in some screenshots, the fingers actually look like they were posable. And maybe I was just my, uh, my wicked imagination, but yeah, they're gonna be fixed. And I, I was like, yeah, they have to be fixed. But in some angles, they look like they were posable. Uh, now I know, I know the gauntlet is gonna be posable if I'm not mistaken, because I think there's a little bit of posability uh, with those. So it looks good, man. I'm, I'm really stoked about this. Like even you know, this inner frame is a little bit more dull than uh, than the actual armor. But regardless, I mean, it still looks really beautiful. Oh my god, it looks so good. 
And lastly, it's going to be runner F2. So this is just going to be the yellow parts for like the gauntlet. You got the V fin right there and just some other little parts, the ventilations. So that's pretty much all I need to say on that. And you get a set of beam saber effect parts, which man, these are looking super beautiful. Look at this. That is, uh, yeah, it's a katana, but a beam. That's so damn cool. And just like this, these effect parts right here. Oh my God. They just are wild, super wild. And of course you're gonna have uh, the King of Hearts symbol, if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm correct. I'm probably not correct. I'm probably wrong that it's not the King of Hearts. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, the Shuffle Alliance, right? Shuffle Alliance, King of Hearts. Uh, looks really good. I'm trying to get as close as I can without it like being all blurry, but I cannot do as well as I want. But yeah, it's definitely in there. That's going to be your uh, center crest. And you're going to have like this gripping tape that I don't know what this part is for. I'm only assuming that this may be for the feet. That's kind of like an educated guess, but we'll see. And you can get a sticker sheet, which uh, I'm not really feeling. I don't like it too much, but I guess it's okay. I'm still going to use them. And lastly, you're going to be getting this beautiful ring right here, uh, which does attach to the backpack. And, oh God, this is beautiful. I wish this would have came with the Master Grade, but yeah, it didn't. So, kind of sucked, but this is looking super beautiful. It's pretty big too, so um, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm just excited to get this thing built. And of course, we do have the manual, and I mean, who, who, who cares about the manual? Like, look, I'm going to build this kit. This manual is not going to mean anything to me. It's, it's, it's nice that I get some instructions, but what I really want is I want this kit to be built. So it shows you right here exactly how to put that on. Looks, man, this fucking looks good. You got your stickers and you got some, uh, some good posability. So yeah, man, when this thing is completely just put together, you got the hyper mode right there. Oh, this is going to be just... I'm gonna put this in the center of my room. I'm gonna get a stand just for this. Uh, I know people are like really not feeling the uh, the beefy look, but man, I'm I'm doubling down on it. I think it's gonna be fantastic. So, yeah, that's it, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to rush and build this as soon as possible, so I can get this review out. Hopefully by Saturday night. If not Saturday night, it's sometime on Sunday because I want to build it. So. I'll be seeing you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.